Unbeknownst to anyone but the gang, Brady and others had carried out a reconnaissance trip that Friday afternoon, driving by the credit union to assess the car park and where he and fellow gang members intended to lie in wait. We've just seen a 15 second clip from the RTE Primetime programme. In this clip, our investigative report on Mr Cummins, I think is somewhat dramatic in his voiceover and I do believe the photography is somewhat dramatic for a factual uh, documentary. However, uh, Mr Cummins says Brady and the others were carrying out a reconnaissance trip. Now, I think most people's idea of a reconnaissance trip would probably be over 10, 15, 20 kilometres. I'm just going to pop a little map up onto the screen for you now. So here we have a very simple map which shows that Suspect A's home is just slightly over two kilometres away from Belogan filling station, which is next door to Lodge of Credit Union. And it would not have been uncommon for Suspect A to visit Belogan filling station five, six, seven times per week. And indeed he, Quite, quite possibly may have been in it two or three times a day. So uh, this idea of it being a special reconnaissance mission really doesn't hold any water. Um, when we check out the word reconnaissance and the definition of that word, uh, the word covert pops up. So we're led to believe that this is some form of a covert operation where suspect A drives up in his high spec BMW with English number plates Parks in Belogan filling station goes in and gets some water or whatever and under the gaze of six CCTV cameras. So the fact that that is uh, some sort of reconnaissance uh, really carries no weight whatsoever. Now I'll also note here uh, in the clip shown in prime time, the car driving past, the reconstruction, the car driving past takes somewhere in the region of 10 to 11 seconds. The actual time on the CCTV from Lodge of Credit Union of the actual event would suggest that the BMW can pass Lodge of Credit Union at around five to six seconds. And trying to work this out mathematically, it would suggest that the BMW was traveling at almost 50 miles per hour. So the opportunity for reconnaissance is very slight. So therefore, again, the idea doesn't hold much water. Now I'm just going to show you another little uh, clip from the prime time program which shows us clearly where the radars went for the drop off to let the radars off to come up from behind the credit union. So I'm just going to show you that little clip uh, now. Joan grainy footage of how at 10 minutes to 9 that night, 40 minutes before the murder, a car drives down a laneway near the credit union and comes back out a minute later and drives off. RTE Primetime has shown us here clearly that uh, the entry point for this horrific crime was this little cul-de-sac between the Credit Union and Belogan filling station. And at no time is there any suggestion that the BMW on the Friday afternoon belonging to Suspect A was involved in any reconnaissance in relation to that cul-de-sac, which again makes no sense whatsoever because that was the entry point for the crime. Now he also says, Mr. Cummins, in his commentary, that um, the, dr the drive-by was to see whether they were going to lay in wait. This holds no water whatsoever, Mr. Cummins, because if you drive by even at 35 to 40 miles an hour, you can't really see anything at the back of the credit union. And that is where the attack came from, was over the wall. So the idea again, that this is some sort of reconnaissance but what actually happened on that Friday night uh, is totally incorrect, I would have to suggest. And again, you're putting forward a curated story, a manufactured story, and a story that really doesn't stand up to scrutiny. 